Ya, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let me start you for the dynamic model of steel tank heating process. This process can be true in this uh, figure. So we install the heater here with the input energy is Q and the input stream temperature is Ti and the uh, mass flow rate is Wi and will produce uh, output temperature T and mass flow rate is W okay. so uh, in this system because the constant hold up we install the output pipe or output line in, in this top so we assume that the volume is always constant because the volume is always constant then the mass balance total mass uh, the mass balance here the mass balance is accumulation input minus output the input is wi and output w and accumulation always uh, zero because the volume always is constant so here wi is always equal to uh, w okay uh, in this system we assume that perfect uh, mixing perfect mixing means that the temperature in the tank is the same with temperature uh, output stream or temperature output stream is always the same with the temperature in the tank okay and we assume also rho and c the heat capacity is also constant and uh, q loss yeah, q loss is zero so how to derive the dynamic model what the dynamic model mean the differential equation dt over dt so we want to find dt over dt okay because there is uh, energy input here so we should uh, apply the energy balance in our uh, calculation okay so the energy balance can be written as accumulation is input minus output so what the uh, input output energy input energy output and energy accumulation okay before we uh, fill in this uh, in this form uh, we go to the our fundamental theory about the this system so sorry. so uh, we go back to our thermo thermodynamic uh, principle our thermodynamic principle that if we have system like this open system so uh, for our case this is uh, open system because there is uh, material input also the energy input so the Q maybe input or output and then 
uh, material mean n or here w input and w output so <coughs> from our definition that the accumulation t a t energy in uh, accumulation is q net q plus uh, sorry minus w mean the work minus work so maybe here work your energy q and your mass this is mass with t and t so the accumulation is equal to input minus output the input is q and energy from this mass we can uh, write in the w i h i mean in yeah, we call it uh, ca carrot carrot because uh, carrot meaning the unit is per unit mass plus w i uh, sorry v i mean the velocity of a two plus g z i yeah. this is the mass input the mass input uh, bring the enthalpy kinetic energy and also potential energy and the uh, mass output bring the enthalpy enthalpy and also the kinetic energy sorry uh, w t dot i because the output square of uh, 2 plus q z okay so the accumulation energy in the system can be right in this uh, equation if the energy unit per unit mass I mean per unit mass we should uh, multiply by uh, mass here so the mass of the accumulation uh, we call it W accumulation okay. the double your accumulation in a system we can uh, write W uh, accumulation a deviation of energy kinetic yeah, plus energy potential plus uh, internal energy or you internal energy okay of a dt is equal to uh, this this uh, part okay so in our case in our case there is uh, no sub work so w here is sub work so there is no sub work we assume zero and we assume that the potential energy and kinetic energy are very small compared to enthalpy so also in this one very small so we neglect this value so now we get the equation yeah, the equation is q minus double uh, sorry plus w i x i minus w x okay uh, 
sorry so also in this uh, case energy potential energy and kinetic energy we assume zero so the find uh, simplify differential equation we get the uh, equation like this q plus y i h i minus w h Okay, at the for liquid, yeah, for liquid at low uh, temperature, low to moderate, yeah, low to moderate pressure. The value of internal energy yeah, per unit mass or internal energy is equal to enthalpy. So we can uh, conclude that our differential equation become T H of a T T is Q plus W I H I minus W H. So, okay, and then the W or mass in the accumulation we can uh, form from rho V. So rho V dH of a dt mass, this is energy uh, per unit mass and Q is energy per unit mass Q is uh, uh, energy and W i is uh, mass flow rate H i is energy per unit mass H caret is energy per unit mass so now we derive what uh, correlation between H and T because we want to find the dt of a dt here. So uh, I continue this thermodynamic view in this uh, space. So for the single component, yeah, so actually H is a function of uh, T and P. H is function of T and P. So T H is the the chain of H is T of a dt at p constant using the chain rule dt plus dh of a dp at constant t dp so uh by the definition, the capacity at constant pressure Cp is uh, Cp is heat capacity at constant pressure is uh, as approximately by dH over dt at constant P. So dH is Cp. Yes, Cp dt plus yeah, dh dp at t constant dp. Then, uh, for liquid, as we, uh, I mentioned before, for the liquid and solid, the value of dh of a 
pp at constant t is uh, is equal to or uh, approximate by zero. So the u uh, so we can can the t x is c p p t. Okay. So from this equation, we can uh, conclude that t x t t mean c p t t over t t. Also, uh, if we have uh, if we uh, integrate yeah, integral form Higgs from uh, reference tem temperature to the temperature current temperature will be T reference until T so we get Higgs minus Higgs reference is C P T minus T reference without loss the generality we uh, assume that Higgs reference is Higgs reference is zero so now we have uh, sorry Higgs is CP T minus T reference okay so now we got this equation we got this equation and we got this equation now we uh, go back to this energy balance so from this yeah, we get the input energy energy input is Q plus energy from the uh, stream input is W I time X I X I is C P T minus T reference so X I is C now I call it as C C is C P time T minus T referent minus W C oh, sorry this one T I minus T referent minus minus W C T minus T referent and the accumulation is rho V Okay, rho V T H D T is C T T over T T. Okay. This is uh, our dynamic model of the steel tank heating process. So now we get the T T over T T. So if we want to solve this equation yeah, we have to subtract yeah, this equation by uh, steady state condition and then you will get the uh, deviation variable of this equation okay uh, this equation actually can be simplified using so rho v c dt over dt is q uh, 
plus iya w i is equal to w so i can simplify using a w c your t i minus t reference minus t minus t reference so here minus t reference minus minus t reference can be uh, cancel it out okay so uh, we get this equation q plus wc ti minus t rho p c dt over dt is in this okay so uh, So this is our uh, solution uh, our differential equation of this process.